Yo, what's up everyone? Hopefully you can hear me because I have this mask on. I don't have a good microphone, but uh, I am actually about an hour and a half, two hours from uh, where I live. And I'm actually in Austin, Texas. And I am actually on Rainy Street. So this is all Rainy Street. And it's kind of like a hipster kind of like, I don't know, hangout. Uh, it's just been kind of, um, I don't know, like reinvented. And a lot of times it's stopped by Southwest. They have, you know, just a bunch of different like performers and whatnot. But I am actually up here to come check out some of the arcades uh, they have up here. And um, we're going to spend the next uh, couple days up here checking out a few different arcades and uh i'm actually going to be going to a buddy of mine uh his arcade and i'm actually going to be djing tonight so i'm headed back to the hotel gonna go dj uh, i mean i'm gonna head back to the hotel go shower then i'm gonna go dj go check out his arcade and see how he's been doing during all this uh pandemic but yeah so so that's kind of what's going on uh the nightlife like kind of picks up around here i don't know there's been kind of like stuff going on all day and uh just finished having uh, some appetizers and a beer and now i'm gonna head back get cleaned up and uh go ahead and do my thing for the night all right i'll see you when we get over to the arcade So in this episode, we are going to be checking out the Texas Gamers Lounge, arcadesforhome.com. And my buddy Imran, uh, this is his arcade in Austin. He has a couple locations. He has one in San Marcos, and then he has this one in Austin. And truth be told, uh, man, I've known him for years, and I've never been to this Austin location. So I'm super excited to be here. Check this out when you first walk in, it's super cool. It's an old Surge uh, soda machine. It's pretty neat. And uh, in order to come in and play the games, she has quite a few games. You just pay a membership fee, uh, not a membership fee, but like an entrance fee. And then all the games are on free play, so you can kind of just play whatever. And it's really cool. So then I asked him uh, last night, because actually I DJ'd here, and I'll show some clips of that. But uh, I DJ'd here and um, I asked him what this change machine was for. And he says it's actually for this uh, prize machine here. And he has all kinds of other stuff, uh, really, really cool stuff. Like he has a uh, like ramen, you know, for people that come in and they, they want something to eat. And he has drinks and candy bars and all kinds of snacks and whatnot. So that way uh, you can come in and you can stay in and you can just kind of like play games and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, he has air hockey here. He has this game. Uh, it's called, I guess it's called Jubeat. I don't even know. I've never even heard of it. But he said that he wanted me to try this one out. He said it's really, really cool. And that's the thing. He has like a lot of games that are like um, kind of like from Japan and stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, games that we don't see a lot here. So it's really, really interesting. So he was telling me that this game is actually one uh, LCD screen. And then this is like overlay buttons. And then you just punch the buttons. And it's kind of like Dance Dance Revolution. Except it's like you play it with your hands. So... I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play it here in a bit and we can kind of check it out and see kind of how it works. Uh, skip. Welcome to the Festa. Uh, I don't know what it says. <laughs> oh, just hit next. Uh, I guess it says skip. Uh. Tutorial. Before you begin, you must learn how to play. Blue Beat is a musical simulation game. Touch the panels on the blue is a marker. Touch the panels the perfect timing to get a higher score. 
kind of see it. I thought it was kind of hard to see with the reflection. Pretty neat game. Very, very cool game. But yeah, definitely come check out this. And uh, this one's kind of cool too over here. This is called Dance Evolution, and a lot of them are uh, these, uh, what is it, Beat Mania or Beat Mania uh, games, and they're all made by Konami. This one's kind of cool, it's, uh, it has a Kinect, and this one's from Japan, and he said that this one got uh, shipped over, and you can kind of see uh, all the language and all that is not in English, so uh, it's, it's kind of cool. He said it's, it's, it's just kind of like... Um, just dance like you know like on the wii or uh you know the switch or anything like that and he uses the connect which i think is kind of funny because if you know the history of xbox in japan um xbox doesn't do very well over there but they took that camera and they implemented it into this machine which i thought was kind of cool uh another one uh, be mania or whatever however you say the name um is this drum mania and uh, it's just kind of like a, it's just basically like, yeah, it's like a drumming game. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I always play a rock band uh, and I always play the drums. So I think that's kind of cool. Then you have a double Dance Dance Revolution uh, Supernova. It's a very, very cool setup. I like it. And then, of course, a pool table. And Fast and the Furious Super Bikes, probably linked up. I think I see a link cable back there. Maybe, maybe. That's the other thing, too. I mean, all his machines here, I mean, they're all, like, uh, pretty good upkeep. I mean, everything looks, like, really clean. There's a lot of, it looks like there's a lot of pride trying to keep the games going. It's always a struggle. You always turn them on, and you never know what's going on. Big Buck Safari. Aliens Extermination. This game always just seems like fun. I like the I like the idea. I like the theme of it. I think it's kind of cool. Might actually turn off the light. We'll see. If that helps. Turn off that front light. He has like a little area here. This is this is the game that I keep seeing every arcade in Austin has this game. And I mean, you know, it's, it, I asked him around about it, and he said. Um, it's one of those uh, games that everybody can get on and everybody uh, seems to enjoy it. And it's Guitar Hero Arcade. Uh, this is a huge community if you've never seen one of these. Super cool. They have it now released like on Steam and you know Xbox, the Switch, all that good stuff. And it's Killer Queen. So it's an arcade, it's an arcade uh, setup and it was originally an arcade setup. 
and it was huge in the arcades um, before uh, you know the whole COVID thing. And uh, really, really cool game. Really cool community. You play, and it's up to five players. And then you play two teams, and there's five players on each side. So it's like super cool. It's really, really neat. If you've never played Killer Queen, I highly recommend it. Okay, so this is a game I want. I need to ask Imran about this game. But uh, this is, and let me turn off the light again. It's a little darker, but then you can kind of see the game a little bit better. This is Tekken 5. I really, really like this cabinet. I mean, look at this cabinet. It looks super cool. Let me turn the light on again. <laughs> but I like this cabinet. It's super cool. It's super streamlined. You know, and it's a CRT, but it's like one of those like flat CRTs. And I just think that the cabinet looks really slick. I love Tekken. I have one of these. It's a Hydro Thunder uh, Upright. I don't know if these are more rare, but uh, you don't see them as often. But excellent game. And then this looks like a couple of PlayStations like connected together. And then we have, we have cups. <laughs> no, just joking. But we have uh, Simpsons, and he actually has the right, the right sticks. He has the ball tops. We were at pinballs, and they had the wrong, um, they had the wrong uh, sticks on them. So he has the right ones. Let's see how original this one is. So if you look at the pinballs video, you can kind of see what I was talking about. This is original. So let me turn the light on. But you see, like you can see the seam. I don't know if you can see that right there you can see the seam so it has three panels it has one two and then it has a third panel that's how you could tell that the side art is original and then it'll probably say back here it'll probably say simpsons right there so you could tell this is an original simpsons really cool and then keeping up the simpsons theme here's the simpsons pinball machine Looks nice. So he's got maybe LEDs in there? Yeah, it looks like LEDs. And then he's got Jurassic Park. And then he also has the games for sale. So if you ever want to buy the game, it has prices on them. And then he has the prices on this uh, location. And then he also has them um, actually at the San Marcos location as well. So Super Mario Brothers, Twister. Twister's cool, cause look, it's like Whirlwind, where it has a fan on top, so you can kind of see the fan up there. And then like, you know, just kind of like spins and it blows at you, really cool. Street Fighter 2, uh, if you don't know Imran, Imran's a huge Street Fighter 2 fan. I don't know what's going on with Chun-Li. What's going on with Chun-Li? Her face is kind of messed up. Let's see, oh, uh, reflection, reflection. Oh, well, yeah, they're all, well, yeah, Ken's is kind of like weird too. I don't know the art's on the, the the art on the back. That's not Imran's fault. That's the the, the artist. <laughs> the art is uh, kind of funny, right? Uh, Road Kings, another pin. So he does have you know some pinball machines here. I mean he has a he has a few. And pinball machines are expensive, and they are a, you know a pain to keep up as far as maintenance. I only have a couple, and it's still like kind of drives me nuts. So going off of this center row, we have a Ninja Turtles. Looks like he has an LED in here. It's like very bright, very vibrant. And he has the correct joysticks. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So he does have the correct joysticks on there, which is nice to see. Some ball tops. Mortal Kombat 2, actually in a Mortal Kombat 2 cabinet. That's always nice to see. The games look nice. Mortal Kombat 4 with the run button. That's really kind of like the only difference, right? As far as uh, running this stuff. So if you have like a Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, or whatever, you can all interchange them. But the run button is what you need for part three. So it has that. Then he has a Batman, which is cool. I kind of wanted to try this one. Man, it's loud. That was the other thing at pinballs is uh, the games were very loud. I don't know, I, I, me personally, I kind of want to hear it, right? So, there's another cabinet. And yeah, check out the speakers. It, it's got that virtual Q audio. So, yeah, check, I mean, listen to that thing. It sounds amazing. 
But I mean, I remember like back in the arcade, these games, like when you would play them, they were just super loud. Fruit Ninja, very cool. Just like swipe, just like a, a iOS game. And then let's see, we got Dance Freaks. Another Konami B-Mania game, right? It's the Korean version. What do you do with this game? I don't, I don't know if you kind of like put your hand above it or something. I don't know if it's like shooting something and you break the the plane. Everyone loves Street Fighter. So here's a Marvel superhero Street Fighter. These are all like different variations of the big blues. So here's another one. Very cool. Neo Geo floor slot. Running like that 160 and 1 in 1. So yeah, there's the prices. And then this is kind of like the, the Vulix setup. They're kind of like sit down, candy cab style. Very cool though. Uh, you can see, look, he won't sell that one to me. <laughs> but it's super cool. It's pretty nice. X-Men. This X-Men looks pretty clean. I wonder if that's original. I don't know. That, that might be redone. That looks pretty clean. And these look like they're just off at the moment. I think these were running yesterday. A NASCAR racing. Ski ball. You got to have ski ball. And uh, we have some more... Uh, candies here so it looks like we have a street fighter 2 uh i don't know what version of street fighter 2 oh uh, super street fighter 2 it looks like or is this the is this like grandmaster edition so it looks like it's third strike it's super street fighter 2 uh this is the grandmaster so this is like his favorite one this one he was saying that it's super difficult and he's pretty good at street fighter and he said that he can only win like one time and then that's it. That it's pretty, it's pretty rough as far as uh, the AI. The AI is just really brutal and you can't really play it. it. Looks like he has headphones. Do you, oh, I was like wondering like, do you plug in the headphones into this cab? But this, by the way, this like Street Fighter, this version of Street Fighter is very, very rare. Uh, there's not a lot of people that have it. There's, it's, it's just that right there. Grandmaster Challenge. It's a super rare version. I mean, I you know, go ahead and check it out and try to see if you can find one. But they, they come up every now and then. But I mean, it's it's not as prevalent as like a championship edition or you know just like a vanilla World Warrior. But these are pretty cool. I mean, like they can um can like link up and stuff. It's pretty cool. I don't know. And the staff and everything is pretty laid back, pretty chill. Emron, talk to me. I want this one. <laughs> I love that cabinet. So that's like half of it. Oh wow. So I was just here like at midnight and I was DJing back here. Oh, so here's a crazy taxi. There we go. And then he has, um, let me turn on the light here. So he has a, like a mixing board. Then he's been having like DJs come in. So it's pretty cool. So I was actually here last night. So let's get over here. Let's get up this ramp. He has a pretty sick setup. You can go kind of through the setup. Check out these subwoofers. He has like, uh, there's like three subwoofers here. Then he has like uh, all these park hands, LED pars. And then he has like all this lighting, uh, you know, to set up for the green screen back here. And then uh, he has a camera here that you can see the decks from up above. You can see another camera over there, right there. And that one's uh, to do, uh, you know, from the front. He manages the whole setup from here. Super cool, super cool setup. I was, I was definitely honored to come and, you know, be able to play music for a little bit, get the stream going. It was fun, you know, we, we've not connected. So it was, it was pretty fun to get connected and, and you know, kind of work on that and do that. Ooh, almost missed my step and then up here in the front it's really cool because he has this um, kind of
kind of like facade right here. And then this projector here like shoots like an image and it projects onto that. Really, really cool. And I was literally just here at midnight and these games were not here. Oh, so this is another one. Imran, talk to me about this one. Goodness gracious. So this is the uh, Nintendo Super System. And it has like these big funky inverted Super Nintendo like controllers, which are kind of cool. Uh, you know, to be honest, I, I, I don't know what I would do with this. This would be once I get my arcade built. But dude, I, I don't know. It's just a little bit of nostalgia. I think like the Tekken would probably work better for me. But eventually, I would love to have one of those. I see people like they mod them and they put Super Nintendos and then uh, you can actually change out the cartridges. It's like an NBA Jam. I don't know what, what cabinet is this? Uh, I'm trying to think with the one that has a footrest like that. Uh, can't think of it right now. But yeah, so this game, this game, and whatever this is back here, It's like some kind of multi-cade. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, these three games were not here. So they just got dumped off. He literally said that he's always like changing stuff out. And uh, like he's like, uh, you know, always definitely changing stuff out. They got the, what do you call it? The feed from Twitch up here. Really cool. He has a ton of systems. So you have PS4. He has Mario Kart 8. He has more projector shooting stuff. And uh, a bunch of people are playing like Fortnite, but they'll play like Mario Kart, they'll play whatever, PS4. Uh, he has the Nintendo Classics. He has a Switch over here. I don't know, super, super cool setup. If you are ever in Austin, you definitely have to come out and you have to check out the Texas Gamers Lounge. Super, super cool place. I like it. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to get up here. I, I'm sorry, Imran, I apologize. Um, I'll try to make it up here more often, uh, especially now that I know where it's at. I wanna come and try to check out this place a little bit more. Uh, really, really cool, I, I like the vibe. I like, it's like real chill. But uh, again, if you are up here in Austin, come check it out. Um, I wanna say it's like 10 bucks to get in. It's not too bad for all the games that you can get. But uh, until then, I will see you all, hopefully back here again, but uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Check you later.